Hey guys, me Jacob, and today I'm here with another house building video. Today I am here building the ultra modern home. So this house is built on a 64 by 64 lot. Um, it's relatively big, not huge, but it's relatively big. Uh, it has just uh, two floors with one foundation floor in between, so I could kind of elevate the roofs and make a uh, L-shaped staircase. So as you can see, I just added on the half floor kind of-ish thing. And to do that, I just simply use constrained floor elevation false, and then I uh, leveled the ground across. So at first, I was just going to kind of connect these two things to make them look kind of cool. But in the end, I decided to make a little overpass that goes to the main house, and it ends up being the um, master bedroom. So yeah. And now, as you can see here, I'm also doing another half wall on the top, and just adding some color. So at first I went with some white, because white's a very generalized, basic, modern color that people don't use nowadays. But in the end, I did change it, I believe, to black. So yeah. So just adding some color here, I had some red, uh, some black, and then I uh, made the walls of the house white. In, of siding but I did change that it was too bright it didn't look proper so I decided to turn it into more of a beige color just to give it more color but not too much so yeah uh, I personally love how this house turned out uh, it's like not my favorite favorite of all my houses that I built but I do like how it turned out um, I am getting rid of that red uh, fencing I did not like it at all and here we just have a little pathway, and I tried to make it cool by adding these little sections, but I decided not to go with that in the end. But I did on either side add a little zen garden. So when you walk in, you're surrounded by a couple plants. I believe I put a couple of palms in there, and yeah. So I just added some windows and doors here. Uh, as you can see, I used a lot of windows from the bow, uh, bow house. I don't really know how to pronounce it, so... Why not leave that in the comment section below? How to pronounce the name of the collection that comes with all the windows. So yeah. And as you can see, I just kind of made some different patterns. And I, um, by using multiple tools and move objects on, I mean multiple windows, you can easily put them like interjoining, which kind of makes them different styles from what the game actually gives you. And it just lets you make your own windows, kind of. So here we are, just adding some more windows. And then making the bridge that goes across into the laundry room slash master bedroom. So as you can see, just adding some windows here. And some doors. And then changing the fencing on the top. And now adding some windows in the back. In the back, I did end up adding a pool and uh, three golfing ranges. So if you want, you can golf right from your backyard. So that's kind of cool. So adding some windows here and uh, doorway out to the patio. As you can see, I also use the window tool again, or the window method that I have to kind of make a cool, huge window. So as you can see, I changed it to a beigey color, and yeah, I think it looks a bit nicer now. So I had this little path from the laundry room area to the uh, patio, and I decided not to go with it, I believe, in the end, because it just I couldn't get a proper way to fit it in, so yeah. And just adding some fencing around where I'm going to put some shrubbery. And now inside, I kind of add this cool little pool feature here. And it just, it's like having a pool indoors. So it's kind of like you walk in the fountain. And it's open to above, so you can see it from the second story walkway area, which is kind of cool. Because then you can just walk around and you can see it from almost anywhere in the house. So here we are just uh, building the floor plan. This house has... Two bedrooms, um, one man cave that can be easily converted into a bedroom if needed, and the second bedroom actually is not completed. I kind of left that open just so then you guys could put whatever you want in there because I know that you guys might have different opinions from me and different styles, so I thought I'd just leave that room open for you guys. So as you can see, just adding in some flooring here for the upstairs. And now we're back downstairs, adding some different tile, looking for some suitable 
wall paints and I decided with this nice kind of wood feel and you'll actually notice that every single roof in the first floor is actually elevated so pretty much it's like how to get a higher ceiling at the same time as having a half wall slash like thing above it and uh, you can easily check out that tutorial because I did make a tutorial on that uh, be sure to check it out on my channel and I'll leave a and I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to check that out. So yeah, uh, here we are making the living room now, just adding some colors, and I decided to go with just one of the basic ones that comes in the game, so just use that one, and then I just made the same upstairs for the lot, like walkway area, and then I kind of added the living room upstairs, so it's this kind of cool little feature where the living room is upstairs, and that big area down there is mainly just a sitting area slash there's a trophy case and I believe I put a grand piano and yeah so just a little social area whereas upstairs is a bit different now here I tried to add in some spiral staircase a spiral staircase into the man cave but it didn't work out because I forgot that I had the thing about it, uh like the the basement it just it was being very uncooperative, and I don't know why, but it just, it didn't want to go, and I continually tried, but I couldn't get it to go, so that's one thing I would have really liked to have in this house, is it was going to be a cellar, so you went down the stairs and you were just at the cellar, but for some reason, I don't know why, it was being weird, so yeah. Uh, here we are making the kitchen, and uh, yeah. So as you can see, I kind of kept the wood tone in here, and then I just made this little path area in here and then there's a garage right off the kitchen which has a nice glass wall that's going to be with it as you can see I decided to go with this kind of lighter wood to bring out the white in the kitchen so just adding some more wall paint and stuff and um, adding just a blank because I was going to do the bedroom but then I decided no I'm just going to leave for you guys so uh, just adding some walls for the master bedroom and then the laundry room I like the laundry room how it turned out because it looks really nice. It has this like it has a fireplace and TV and sitting area. So if you're waiting for your laundry, it doesn't make it as boring anymore. So here we are just adding some wallpaper and brick to the master ba ba bathroom. Yeah. And now trying to figure out a place for the door to the man cave, and then I decided just to put it there. And now at the entrance, I just added a rug and a couple seats. So just kind of like this little sitting area when you walk in, you can look at the waterfall or fountain. And yeah, so I can just put a couple plants. I love adding plants to my houses because they make them feel more like an ecosystem. That's a really weird way to describe it, but yeah, kind of cool. So here I just added a small little kitchen island and then a huge kitchen counter. With plenty of space and then the little walkway out to the laundry building I guess because it's not really a room anymore it's kind of its own separate building so there's dining room table and then a little seating area and yeah so now I'm um, gonna add a little seating area into the grand I don't know what to call that anymore because it's not a living room so just a grand area I guess and adding a bar here and then yeah so I went with some kind of a green feel to the bar. It kind of gave it some cool color. And yeah, it just made it kind of stick out. So I used move objects on to put in that pool table actually. Because even though there's enough room, there was one angle it wouldn't go. So I just move object on so I could just do that. So right here we have a study. And it's a little study. It has two desks and a nice wall of bookshelves. And then upstairs, changing up the seating area as you can see I I don't really like how those couches turned out in the end but um I thought that it would look nicer but I like it now better because I bought the collection stank a or whatever stank or I don't even know what it is but yeah I bought that and you can change just the like pillows on it which is so nice it just makes it look way better so you can have different like pillows on a different color sofa so it doesn't change the whole sofa I love that set that is probably one of my favorite sets and also I love ultra modern uh, set that's 
those are my two favorite sets. So yeah. So I had a little divider here kind of to separate it. And then I was trying to find a good art piece to go on the wall, but I couldn't really find one. So I decided to just add like a corner mirror and then a seat and then a grand piano right in the middle. And I always accent my grand pianos with a carpet under it because why not? So here we are adding some lighting into the man cave. Now adding some lighting into the grand area. And now adding a drafting table, some seats, uh, artwork, chess table, all the stuff that you just want as extra. So just, yeah, a drum set, etc. Now I was going to add a fountain outside, but it just didn't fit. So I was going to add it in the middle. And then when I went to go put it, it looked okay, but it didn't look great. So I believe I changed that in the end. So, um, moving around, adding some chairs and some lighting and some seating. And now, uh, I also use move objects on to add a hot tub to this porch area. Because you can easily just click on the bottom of it when you place it. That would interfere with anything below it and just delete it, which is quite nice. I also did that for the chimbies, if you're wondering. So, yep, yeah, just some nice dark tones for the be uh, master bedroom. A TV, a carpet, yeah, just a nice little area. And then the main area where you walk in, that's like pretty much a walk-in closet, but their main room, so yeah. It's a lot of dressers and mirrors. So pretty much when you walk in, you're kind of like walking into the master closet, and then you have to walk across the bridge to get to the master bedroom. It's kind of cool, kind of weird at the same time, but yeah. So, adding a master ba uh, bathroom, shower, tub, toilet, and two vanities, double sink. So, add some lighting there. And now, adding the garage in, adding a display case. I had to change up the whole thing to add it, but it was worth it because it looks nice. So, um, yeah. Now, we're just adding some extra accessory stuff to the whole building and then adding this washroom for the main floor because you need a washroom at least on the main floor so um here's the laundry room I was talking about I really really like it because it turned out nice with the washers on the other side and then all the stuff and the folded like the folding tables sink it's and then like the racks clothes it's pretty much a huge laundry room so and some shrubbery there and then I'm doing all the landscaping right now I'm just changing the, the path a bit and yeah so now adding some hedges and some flowers and we're almost at the end of this video so as we just finish off the landscaping here and stuff um, I just want to say be sure to favorite this video be sure to like this video be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this I post a new video about I post a new building video every month, um, and I just post every other kind of videos every now and then about The Sims. So yeah, and um, be sure to check out more videos on my channel. Uh, if you're wondering how I do some stuff, I have quite a few tutorials, and I'm constantly making them, because I want to help you guys make great content, so um, yeah, be sure to check out my channel for some more tutorials, in case you want to learn how to do something, and, um, I think that's about it, so design some more landscape, oh, and also, I forgot to mention, if you want, you can download this house on the exchange, there will be a link for that in the description, so, you can live in this house if you want, or you can have your sims live in this house, so, just coming to the end here, adding the four driving range spots, and, yeah, so guys, be sure to check out the virtual tour where I go into an in-depth view of the whole entire house from a Sims perspective. So here's the finished product, and see ya.